Welcome to my mother's channel. Sitting around doing some videos. Most of the time is happy. Bringing good vibes. Sitting around never sappy. Good vibes from the sky. Good vibes from the clouds. Good vibes from the rain. Children always feeling so happy. Bringing good vibes never sappy. She is so nice to me. Thinking about her family. She's awesome. I love my babies. It just makes my soul go from blue to yellow. Every single day, it makes me feel happy. Being around her, that's just what she does. She looks so pretty, so awesome, so nice. Bringing good vibes, good vibes to your soul. You and my soul feel so happy. Go watch your video. Go, go subscribe to her channel. Wait, I'm not ready to start recording yet. Okay, what's going on, folks? It's late. I haven't done any vlogging because I had my son, my baby boy. We were in the hospital today because he wasn't feeling well. Thank goodness he's fine. Thank goodness now. But, um, yeah, so then fast forward, like, it was a, it was a day. I'm just going to say it was a day. But I'm only on here now because my son said something that I almost, like, strangled him for. I love him so much. <laughs> so my eldest son was here, and he's, like, he's here, and he's, like, talking to me and he's like uh i'm down here like talk to the kids or whatever get on the kids about something they didn't do what i've told them repeatedly and he goes hey y'all if mom was only like italian he's like you know like the way she yells <laughs> y'all i said oh really <laughs> <laughs> I chased him up the stairs, but I wasn't fast enough. But I'm just like, <laughs> why was that joke so on point, y'all? I'm so pissed that he made that joke because. <laughs> okay, so I've been around some Italians, all right? But they ain't got nothing on. <laughs> well, we, like, we got it all. But anyway, <laughs> it was a funny joke. But all right, y'all. Tomorrow, I promise to get to y'all with some vlogs. All right. <laughs> I'm going to vent a little bit. Maybe I'm going to try not to be so negative because this is supposed to be a neg uh, positivity channel. But let's be real. People can be positive all the time because life is happening every day. Um, you ever realize how sucky people are? Do y'all? Because I do. I do realize. Um, I realize how crab in a barrel they are. I realize how nobody really wants you to succeed and everyone's just hateful and mad because they have their own issues. Instead of focusing on their own issues, they, de they deflect and they make you the problem when you're not the problem. Um, it's super lame and annoying. Also, I also notice how people have these feelings, right? People have these inside. I talk to so many people on daily basis because I'm just an outworn person sometimes. Even though I'm an introvert, I'm, I have extrovert tendencies. So I tend to talk to people. I just like to keep my distance. But people, a lot of people are feeling some type of way. A lot of people, let me just put a, put a little warning out there to the world in general. People don't like to be disregarded or disrespected. Let's just let's just put that out there. People don't like that. Just like you don't. Just like anyone does it. Um, and when they feel like they're not being heard and when things are one-sided or people are being pushed in the direction that they don't want to go because as adults and as people in general we have the right to make our own decisions and believe what we want to believe go what we want to do what we want to do you know what I'm saying for most part we're not hurting anybody but you do, to force your own views your opinions and everything else down other people's mouths and try to shut them up with the knees call them out as if there's something they're not when they have their own thought process it's completely absurd we know this and no matter what we're talking about so and this isn't specific to one thing just make that clear just to make that clear so with that being said people are angry and I'm just seeing the I'm just seeing the frustration I'm seeing the bull and I'm seeing flames coming from people I'm seeing it I'm seeing it they don't speak out and they're not heard they're, some of them are scared to speak out most people are scared to speak out and some are just not heard some of them can't speak out most people can't speak out about certain things as well so it's like with that being said it is a ticking time bomb, y'all. This world is on a ticking time and it doesn't even realize it. Because people love to <sighs> gain side with whatever just because, I don't know whether it's brainless or because people never go gonna be, want to be never gonna be. You know, I like to bring that back up again. Like I used to say when I was little. Or want to be never gonna be's. Or they just want to feel accepted or feel powerful or feel whatever. I don't know. But whatever it is, it isn't authentic. And it isn't empathetic. People need to be connected. And I'm not saying all up in it. You know, I'm just saying we need a connection, a level of respect for 
all. You can't just take one side of something and just smash it. You need a level of respect for all. Everyone should be heard and everyone should be respected. Period. And balance is necessary on all levels for everyone. Not just for some. So there's a ticking time bombs waiting to mother freaking explode and people don't even know how large they are. It's crazy. I talk to so many people on a daily, but it's crazy how many ticking time bomb bombs are walking around this earth. It is insane and nobody notices it. No one's aware because everyone's hush about it. And I'm not going to expose what those things are and what <laughs> some of y'all already know. Because y'all are ticking time bombs too. But uh, <laughs> it's not funny. It's crazy. It's sad. And it's, it's uh, where are we to, where are we as people if we can't respect everyone? If people are completely disregarded if something doesn't fit their narrative. We are not books. We're people. We're freaking books. This isn't written down and then this is the script and that's what it is. No. We're freaking people. Not one person knows all. There's not one right way. There are tons of them. Got me slobbing. There are tons of right ways. There's no script. That's what's so beautiful about people. The beauty of the diversity. Of the uniqueness. The essence. My unique self. Oh my gosh. You know, so it's just crazy, bitch, y'all. And I know this may seem vague. It really isn't. To the second time bombs watching, they already know. But it's on so many different levels, too. So many. And it's so freaking sad. It's just about respect. Where's the respect? Respect, mother freakers. Love, mother freakers. Help, mother freakers. People don't care. It's all about them and all about their anger. Instead of being angry, refocus and redirect that. Because nobody want to be angry with y'all or being forced to be, ugh, deal with y'all. To the people that, that are non-caring. Like, the uncaring, ugh, just... Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and let that go, though, because I don't want this to be negative. But, whew, I just feel, and it's so sad, and I just I wish I could take the pain away from people and hurt. I wish I could take it away from myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I work on me, though. I work on me. <laughs> I work on me daily. Hmm. That's why I'm okay, but not okay. You know what I mean? Like, I'm okay. I'm functional. I'm still, I'm still going to laugh. still going to smile. I'm still going to do me. But, you know, things could be better. But I see and I'm aware and I'm super empathetic and I take in people's energy and stuff like that. That's why I got to be careful and I got to uh, pace myself when I expose myself to people and their energy. But I'm like, how don't people, why don't people realize this? There's a simple human quality that's being ignored and it's not, and it's ignored for reasons that are, like you wouldn't believe, like why are these the reasons? Because of stuff that at the end of the day doesn't even matter. I don't know. I need to meditate off this motherfucking crap, but I've got to do, do some of this. Some of this. <laughs> Whatever that is. I feel like I need some candles and some motherfucking. I don't even know, y'all. Been talking to the energies. I can't. But alright, y'all. Also, everyone is not you. When you did something wrong, you when you've done something wrong, you know you have. Be accountable. Like, be accountable. Everyone does not owe you their forgiveness. Sometimes you're just not worthy of it. Sometimes you're just wrong. Change change that. If you want the, the genuine love and respect and stuff like that, that you feel like you're, you could, could be worthy of potentially ever, change that. Otherwise, you're just going to get the fake phony BS that you bring in. I get real because I am real. <sighs> Oh my gosh, and I don't even get real all the time. <laughs> I barely get it. To be honest, but I am I my best. You know, because people are so full of crap, man. And I'm not perfect. I'm far from, but good grief. Good gracious motivations out this motherfucker. It's, it's treacherous. But I got some motherfucking good stuff right here, y'all. And I ate so much that I couldn't even eat it just, just now. Y'all, look at that. Look at that deal, baby. It's the lobster chowder. Mmm. I'm, it's just calling me. I know that was random, but I'm just, I just having to sit over there and look at it, baby. I know that's looking real good. But yeah, yeah, the little accountability goes a long way. Just saying, there's a lot of grown folk that ain't. Whoo, just saying, baby. But all right. Mm. Need to expect the kids to do it. Y'all, please. Please, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know that. See how refreshing it is, though. When I meet an adult that I can speak to as another adult, I've been meeting quite a few of those lately. And it's like, ah, oh, what a breath of fresh air. Another adult and another real person. Like when I could talk to them on topics that are real and they are not foreshadowed. Shadow, they're not shadow. Their faces, their, arm, their, their eyes aren't blinded and they're not just on some rubbish. 
It's so refreshing. We out here in numbers, y'all. We out here. We are out here. Like, I feel so empowered, even though I already am. I feel so... You ever just feel so strong, right? Like, you ever be around just... Like, you already get that strength and you just stand up even stronger. Like, these my mother freakers. You know what I'm saying? Like, crazy. That's where I belong. But, you know, anyway. All right. You know, it's crazy. I don't want to talk about what's trending. <laughs> so many people talk about what's trending and I don't care. I just want to be authentically myself and that's what I do. Like, some people going to vibe with it. Some people not. The real ones will and everybody else won't. But I just can't do it. I can't be commercial. I can't be not the way they want me to be. I can, like, tone it down a little bit as far as, like, I don't have to curse. I mean, I don't curse anyway, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to be so vulgar, even though I'm going to do it. Um, <laughs> that's who I am as a person. But, you know, I can try to tone it down a little bit. as all anybody can ask me. But I can't be anything to my authentic self. And I don't want to be because I'm perfect. In my, own, in my own eyes, I'm perfect. Perfect in my imperfections. I love me and I respect me. I don't respect a lot of mother freakers. This is a lot. I respect my children. I respect myself now. I respect few others. Yep. But alright y'all. Just random thought. If y'all are wondering why I thought about the trending thing. It's because I was on my YouTube homepage. And it does, it's not, not much there. Because you know I just. This is my new channel. Whatever. But. So many people talk about the same thing. The exact same topic. I don't want to hear about that. Like I don't care. Like it's not that I don't care about the topic. It's that. Too many people covering it. I don't know. But that's just me, though. But, yeah. I was like, I can't do that. Like, I don't want to cover something that 8,000 people already covered. You know what I mean? Like, it, it starts to bore me. You get, like, I, my my focus ain't that good. You know what I'm saying? So, my, yeah, I don't know. But some people may be really into stuff like it, which is cool for you. But for me personally, I just got to do it. And it's not, it's not something that causes me to talk about something other people done covered a thousand times. It just, it's just not something that I, I, I just don't find any reason for. It's, it's been covered. You know about it. So what do you need me to talk about it some more for to annoy you? But I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. But yeah, that's what brought up that. And then I started thinking about just in general. You know, that just beyond that. You know how my brain starts somewhere and then it goes all the way out. But uh, yeah, that's how it started. But all right. disappearing but I had to pay for the parking I was trying to sit there but I'm not gonna be cheap I paid for the parking but uh there he is right there but I gotta pass where to use it there he is walk back and tell him that we're going my son is going to tell my other son that I have to go pee so yeah all right I'll see you guys later at home you see the basketball lady pretty neat right but, all right y'all hold up so y'all ready for this are y'all ready for this Yeah, um, so this is my damaged chair. Dang, it looks so bad. But, uh, this is my new growth, like, there. So I have a lot of it. Um, oh gosh, you can't even really see. I have a lot of new growth. Let me show you where it is. See, you can see where the, where the text likes is right here. And then, wait, let me see. And then when I pull it, yeah. So this is the text likes here. Let me go, right there. When I pull it. And then I and I was thinking about just cutting all the bad parts off, like all the parts, all the the straggly, scraggly, straggly. Was it straggly or scraggly ends off? All the text lapsed ends off. See, go right over here. Let's do this. Wait, can you make sure I'm in the right position? And we're gonna do like this, and you're gonna pull it. Wait a minute, a little closer. Pull it. So I have a lot of new growth, right? So I can have like a mini, mini afro. <laughs> But I know I look bad really short hair. I do, but I have so much growth here. Like right here. If I just do this because the ends, the back, that's my buckshot growth. Buckshot? Not even buckshot shorter. Because the buckshots, I had cut those, so they, yeah, they're pretty much just buckshots. But right here, you can even see at the beginning, at the front, you see. Wait, hold up. So right here, I'll do is cover it. So it'll be a little mini fro. <laughs> Two months of growth. But I don't know if I want to deal with that. I think I'm going to just text text it again and do the style that my daughter wouldn't do with my hair. But yeah. Dilemma, dilemma. Right. What's going on, folks? I had like crazy day. Look at my hair, y'all. I just got home. Um, it is insane. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, um, I try to pride myself in being a good person, which I am. 
So it's just interesting. It's like, but I'm gonna let that go. This is the positive channel. Here you have a great night. I'm not gonna share my woes with you, and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Much love. Mwah. Have a great night, folks. Start with my band tonight. I am tired, y'all. I had a stressful like just a little bit ago. You know, like I said, I'm not gonna share that, but I had a stressful little bit ago. But I'm gonna go ahead and knock it off because that's a personal thing. But um, yeah, it's crazy biz. But anyway, all right, y'all have a great one. I am tired and I'm out. Mwah. Good morning, beautiful people. What's my phone? Beautiful people. Sorry, I was in the middle of doing a vlog. I got a call, but wait a minute. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> trying to sit y'all down. Okay, so this vlog is about like just life, you know. Um, well, I would say last night I had a kind of rough night. You know, it was kind of stressful, um, and I was feeling kind of bad. But then. You know, let the energies come for me, and they let me know. Like, I don't need to feel bad. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it's and not gonna get details done in nobody's business. Because you know, I, I'm very vague with certain things. But, um, yeah, I'm just glad they're there for me. You know what I mean? The way they are, and uh, and I don't harbor negativity or anything like that. It's just crazy. Like, you, it's hard for people to know my heart. You know what I mean? It's hard for people to. Yes, I do wrong things. Yes, I make mistakes, but I'm not like. A monster but then um at the, at the same time people make mistakes and they do things and you know i mean no one's perfect but um you know mistakes are made and they should be forgiven they should be corrected and forgiven and that's just what it is and if that can't be the case without attacking like you gotta talk about it first like that's important though this is just a reminder to people with family friends uh loved ones children whatever um, when something happens, y'all talk about it. You know what I mean? Talk about it and fix it. You know, don't just slander a person or, you know, talk badly if you really, if they're really something to you. Um, you should go ahead and just, like, try to fix it. But aside from that, yesterday was pretty terrible. Um, yesterday I had another racial experience. And it was irritating. Now, I don't want to get into that either because I'm trying to make this about positivity. That's the only negative thing you're going to hear from me. It just sucks because I don't get to talk about things a lot of times with people. I do talk about things with my children, but I don't always share all the negative with my children because, like, I don't want to make that give them the negative vibes, you know. But it's just life crazy, y'all. It's crazy biz. But, um, you don't know. And then today, I'm going to smile and be happy anyway. And I hope everyone else does the same. Um, yeah, so that's what that is. I did want to start the band yesterday and didn't get a chance to do that because it went south. Like, yesterday was crazy bad. So, anyway, today's a new day. I'm sick as a dog. I was sick last night. I'm sick today. I'm using this third boost next. I don't know if you hear it in my throat. I got, like, snot and stuff. Um, It's scratchy. My throat is scratchy, so I'm assuming I have a cold. I've been coughing, but only mainly at night. I cough in the day a little bit, but mainly at night. At night, it gets bad. I cannot stand that nighttime coughing, y'all. I don't know if y'all know about the nighttime coughing, but it is not fun. Uh, I redid my hair in some crap. I know it looks a hot mess, but I'm sick of my hair. My hair is just falling out. Falling out. That's another thing. Like, people don't know what I'm going through right now. My hair just falling out. Falling out. Falling out. Like, I'm going through it, y'all, because I dyed it, and it's just so unhealthy. And I just want to just shave it off to my, to my, um, like, very, to my new growth. But then I'm like, I need to do it again because I'm getting my hair done soon. So uh, my daughter's hooking me up with a nice hairstyle. So I, I'm going to have to definitely, I'm going to text Axe again. And then I'm going to probably have to just cut it to the bare minimum because it's bad. It's bad. I'm going to lose all of it probably. I'll probably lose all of my hair. So it's all good. I'm already preparing myself for that. <laughs> I know I've cut it before, but I've never just lost it. All that dye, y'all. Be careful with the bleach. But, um, anyway, good morning, folks. My throat is bothering me. Let me go on about my business. I gotta take my kids or I take them and do everything I have to do with my family. And I will talk to you beautiful fine folks later, Gators. Hopefully, if I feel, I can't even promise the band thing because I'm feeling like my, we're never gonna start a band effort with these germs. Now I got the snot and stuff. Oh, it's just lovely. But anyway, I hope y'all have a great day and I will talk to you guys as the day progresses, I guess. All right. Oh, shoot, I'm dropping my little prop. <laughs> I do want to mention one more thing. I'm going to take down my cash, excuse me. I'm going to take down my cash app because I don't want anything from y'all directly. That's not what I want. I want things from the company. Like, I've been up here doing vlogs and stuff like that for years and years and years. I was a partner and they took it away from me. You know, I don't even know how that went down. I don't remember now. Um, I want money from companies, not from individuals. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't. You know, y'all aren't the company, you know, we all struggling trying to make it, you know, so I'm going to take all that down because I'm going to be here regardless because I love y'all. And even with the hate that I get, I get, some, I do get some, some negativity and uh, not really, 
even with the people who lurk more like that even with the people who lurk and follow everything I do but they're mad or whatever it's like they it's really a love it's really a love because I'm not gonna follow people or whatever if I don't really like them but uh so I don't take that as nothing but just more you know support but yeah so I'm glad for you guys supporting me you don't have to support me I, I know we all and that's not your job um so yeah but if I don't get paid off this platform that's cool I'm gonna still be here y'all know me so well at least you know a bit of me because apparently nobody knows me <laughs> um I'm gonna be here regardless but I'm gonna take my cash up and everything there because I don't need anything right plus I don't need the confusion because money it just messes things up and just oh uh, it's just so frustrating but um anyway so yeah much love beautiful people maybe one day again i'll open a p.o box though because i do like gifts because i like when y'all be sending me like ransom especially my family she made oh that sweater crochet mm, doggies twins but uh <laughs> yeah so i just like stuff like that so maybe we could do exchanges and i still do want to do giveaways and all that good stuff and uh but i forgot how to do it because the platform is different now. I had a giveaway to give away, and I couldn't even give it to the girl because they wouldn't let her post her thing, her uh, address. I'm just like, what the F? But, uh, yeah, anyway. Ah, Y'all have a great day, and I will see you guys as the day progresses. Mwah. What's going on, folks? I'm back. What I need to honestly be focusing on is exercising. I keep, I don't know how close I am to y'all. What I need to be focusing on is exercising, y'all. This belly is ridiculous. My period is starting, I think. Um, so bloat is gonna be a part of that, but that ain't the excuse. I've been eating a lot. I've been eating a lot. And then the kids have been taking me out and stuff, y'all. And then, uh, so my, I still been lifting weights a little bit. Not enough. Not enough to do anything. Um, I need to walk more. I need to, I need to do my exercises that was, exercises I was doing in the house. Those were really benefiting me, but I stopped a long time ago. <laughs> so I need to focus on that. I really do. Like, I need to regain my focus. Like, I need to redirect can't be having like I don't eat negative feelings like I don't deserve that so um yeah let me figure the f out because I need to I keep saying I need to exercise but then I just don't do it thanks I made curry go yesterday I kind of want some fried fish though I just, I'm just all over the place but all right y'all <laughs> have a great day y'all all right we shouldn't be struggling we live in a very we shouldn't be struggling none of us like none of us nobody should be homeless nobody should be hungry nobody should be struggling like that's just real i don't care i don't care what the reasons are that you have that we should that's because you're heartless nobody should be struggling it just isn't fair and i feel bad about it it really isn't it isn't fair but yeah everybody ain't got it you know what i'm saying and those who don't sympathize shame on you you know but uh yeah i just feel bad for people struggling out there like people struggling 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 i really feel bad for it um, I wish it was easier for me to gain my wealth, you know what I mean, um, in my own way, not your way. Uh, it's just crazy biz out here, y'all. But yeah, enough of the negative. Addictive, D don't get started if you have, you like gambling. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm making dinner for breakfast because I'm feeling that type of way. It's so funny. Let me tell you the story behind that. Alright, so was, I was in the store the other day and there was this guy coming in cursing about if I want mother effing dinner for breakfast, I'm going to have some mother effing dinner. But like, he was going in and talking to somebody on the phone. And he was just like, talking about how he, if you want dinner for breakfast, he was like, ain't no rules to this, blah, 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 blah. And... Yeah, ever since that day, you know, I guess that subliminally got in my head. Now I want some dinner for breakfast. Dude was going in though. He was so he was convicted about everything he was saying. I was like, "You right." She's super sick. My nose is hurting like all behind here and stuff. It feels terrible. Everything I've done to suppress it is not working. I am in pain. Beautiful people, how are y'all doing this morning and stuff like that? Um, actually, I have a little bit to talk about. Okay, so. Um, I have been super de duper craving raw meat and dirt again, y'all. I used to eat, I used to eat edible dirt. Yeah, uh, I know. And I have to get me some dirt. And I had like some semi raw meat. I had a medium rare sandwich the other day, but it didn't crave my. I'm super sick too, y'all. I'm so sick. I don't know if y'all can hear it in my voice. It's coughing every night. I take a medicine, and my I just feel like I'm in a dream state. But uh. Yeah, I've been feeling like crap, diddy, lap, lap, lap. And um, I've been craving my raw meat and my dirt. So I'm going to have to get on that. And then, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got to get on it. I got to make sure I'm good. And then I was thinking earlier today, right, I was watching this guy eat raw meat. Because to satisfy my cravings, sometimes I'll like Google like the last year worth of people eating raw meat. And uh, yeah, so I watch people eat raw meat. And it still doesn't do it for me, but it's like, 
it gives me something, but just not enough. And then, uh, yikes. And then I was like, I gotta pee, y'all. But, um, I gotta run in this store. Uh, yeah, so, I've been craving that. I gotta get it. Oh. And then I was, so I was watching, and I was like, man, this dude looks like, this is the thing, right? So he's eating his raw meat. His nails are kind of dirty. Which I'm like, okay, that's not good. And he's, uh, got his little concoction with raw butter and everything. And, th and then, uh, his house looks, like, super drab. He has dogs that eat raw meat and stuff like that, which is cool. But I'm like, okay, now, who you got in that basement? Then it started me to think, I don't know why I thought that. I'm such an idiot. I was just joking. But then it starts me to think, I need a basement. <laughs> Not for anybody I know, though. <laughs> so no worries. But, yeah, I feel like crap, y'all. I feel like scoop de doop doop if they did the poop de whoop whoop. But yeah, let me get in this store and get some breakfast so I can cook for my family. Oh, y'all. Oh, anyway, all right, I'll see you today. But that's why I haven't really been. I've been sick, y'all, last few days now. That's why I can't deal with no like extra stress, y'all. Oh. Just to let y'all know, I'm gonna be looking crazy for a while. I'm gonna pop out looking so great though. Just wait for it. Wait for it. I'm gonna look crazy for a while, but when I pop out, I'm gonna pop out. But all right. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned already, but if y'all have not watched. The Brave Ones, you need to check it out. I watched the whole season. It's not even a full season yet because it's a new show. I believe it's new because it only had like, was it six? It was six to eight episodes. So I watched all of that. It was so good. So good. And the people in it so beautiful. I just love, I've been watching a lot of like black shows, like, like African shows and stuff like that, just to see black people in acting, you know, because we're everywhere, you know. But, uh, uh, uh. And I don't like the low quality. This is not low quality. I will not watch the low quality movies. I won't do it, but uh, this was very high quality. It was really good. Y'all should check it out, but all right. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing my hair again because I got sick of it once again. So this is, these are the parts. I don't know what I'm going to do, but yeah. The movie Vesper was good too. It was from 2022. Uh, when you're sick, you just watch movies. Like, <laughs> I ain't been in the house so much in a long time. I've been in the house like every day, but yeah. I feel like crap, y'all, but yeah. I'm going to watch another movie. I like sci fast. So that's what I go for. All right, hope y'all are having a great day. Uh, what's today? It's... The fourth. I think it's Sunday. Alright. My daughter took me to IHOP this morning. I complained about getting fat, but I keep accepting these lovely luscious <laughs> offers to eat. I'm fat and sassy and happy though, so it's a difference. But uh, we're about to eat. Alright, see you in a little bit. I saw Jesse Reyes and Black together this morning. I was like, they're not a thing. Something about the video. <laughs> I had to say, I'm like, they're a thing. They have to be. There are so many videos together. And they look so cute. And their their chemistry is so good. I'm like, they're a thing. I called it. <laughs> if it hasn't been called already, because I don't keep up with like celebrity gossip. Or What's going on, beautiful people? I said I can't show myself to y'all. Uh, you can't see my head. I can tell because I can see the camera in the background. It's because I'm looking a mess. <laughs> my zip is so good. 
Yeah, I told y'all I'm gonna be looking crazy for a little bit, then I'm gonna bust out. Just, this is just so, such a basic due to whatever, but um, I'm gonna bust out with my hair done, looking all good again. But right now, I'm just re, I'm just recuperating from just, I'm just the, letting all the toxins out, letting all the toxic things just recouping. But um, breakfast was delicious, Trish out this fish. Um, but yeah, breakfast was delicious, Trish out this fish. I want to talk to y'all some more though, so um, give me a minute. We're about to go. All right. What's going on, beautiful people? Okay, so we went to, as you know, we were at IHOP or whatever, and the chick, the lady, um, in a quarter of a mile, turn right on Hodges Ferry Road. Um, anyway, the lady, <laughs> she uh, got our orders all wrong, right? She was working there by herself. She said, I'm the manager and everything else. She talked to another customer. And when we got there, she was apologizing to a customer and telling them that she will give them free stuff. So my daughter said we should have known then. But um, she messed up our orders completely, like a trash them. And so parts of it we didn't really try to fix. And then, um, also you can just sit it. I'm sorry, if you put your hand, so it's not like in my face. You know, but just curving the stuff. Turn it. I gotta, I gotta don't, don't pause it. I just, um. I don't know what I Hello? Hello? going on beautiful people i was going to do the video actually i can get out and do this real quick while i'm in this part um i was going to do the video but then i got a phone call as you see you're getting out too you stand uh, ouch Ugh. okay so i was going to do the video um, while i was uh in the car but it's so far away let me die. okay so the lady all right so we went to get the food or whatever and the lady she seemed like a really sweet girl whatever and <clears throat> or whatever and so we got her we ordered our food she didn't write it down i was like oh she got a bomb memory but no she didn't she messed our orders all up which is crazy biz like all up like even when i corrected she still came out with the wrong stuff so we just like we were just like forget it and then um then she was taking forever she was the only one there wasn't even that many customers but she was the only one working so it was cooks in the back. There was a bus, a table, a, ta a buster to bust the tables. Then I heard someone come out and go, "Mommy, mommy!" Her daughter was there. She was walking around with her daughter, her little daughter, and she like, even after all of that, like she took a long time with everything, even with our check. We waited for like almost an hour. I swear to goodness, an hour, half hour at least, for her, her to come give us our check, and then then they had waited like half hour for her to take the cart to run it. And I was just thinking at one point, can you, can your daughter just do it? Like, <laughs> give me your coat so I can do it. And it's like, I get it. Like, they're understaffed and everything, but do something about that. Like, that's crazy. And I can only imagine the frustration. And people were leaving. People were coming in. I was like, and when we were leaving, but more people coming in. I was like, don't do it. Go leave while you still can. But it was just such a mess. And while that's awful and everything, that is, like, crazy. It's terrible for the customers. Like, terrible. But I got to, um go handle some stuff y'all i just had to share it was just an awful awful like i never had service that was so bad and it's not that she was rude or anything it was just that it was completely understaffed i'm like how's this place still running i hop come on do better i hop do better like i know there are people that want to work i know there are people that want to be in that area you know what i'm saying i'm like dang i was like they need people bad as mother freaking i ain't gonna make that joke i'm gonna leave that joke alone but yeah today's a good day i'm feeling still sick but it's getting over it you know um um it's like a cold it's like it's nothing serious um yeah people i think everything is serious no it's just a cold like is this a cold everyone gets them but uh it's crazy bitch y'all but anyway i hope y'all have a fantastic day all right i will see you guys when they press my door was like can you just do the video outside and stop the car because i'm not doing all that <laughs> she's like i can't hold it but all right y'all oh yeah your girl getting fat y'all and i ain't talking about phat either look at this y'all I can't even button my, my button my pants. These are the pants that were already super tight on me. I could button them, but it will hurt, and I'm not doing all that. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'm not about to buy extra size. But these are too small anyway. I think these are a size mother freaking one. These are size like one, but I, you know, still have them. I don't know why, but I wear a size five, and I squeeze my big tail into one. But I can squeeze myself into them when I ain't been overeating. But I have been. So there are one, two, or three. There are three. Three, three. Not one, not one, not one, not one. They're not a one. But I do have some ones that I squeeze into. I do. Ridiculous. But yeah, all my fat just be blurb, blurb. No, it's like, no, no, no. It don't be blurbing when I'm not this big. But I've been like tearing it up. And as you see, my daughter been like taking me out to eat a lot. She is in her phone. But <laughs> um, been taking me out to eat and stuff like that. My daughter and my son, because they love me. They love their mommy. Their mommy love them too. They 
Is she? <laughs> but anyway, let me go. I gotta go. Oh, look at the little family. But I gotta go, y'all. All right. <laughs> Some scratch offs and they all were losers. I feel like my face isn't even the face anymore. It's just like moles. Ah, keep ripping my damn belly. Can y'all see that? All I have all over my face is moles. My family is a thing. You get more and more as you get older. Pretty soon I'm just gonna be a big mole. But I need something to do, y'all. We need something to do. <laughs> I'm going through it, y'all. See the hair. What's going on, beautiful people? I'm sick as a dog. Look at my ugly feet. Marlin. <laughs> my stomach is killing me. I got cramps. So not only do I have a cold. But my cramps decided to hit me in a forest like never known before. With a forest like never known before. I'm like, you're so disrespectful. Like, I had cramps all day. It was so bad. And then at night, it's the worst with my sickness. Because that's when all the coughing and stuff happens. The worst. Um, I've gained a lot of weight. My gut is ridiculous. I'm thinking about working on it, but maybe not. I mean, it's winter time. <laughs> it ain't summertime. <laughs> but yeah. And my, ooh, my, ooh. My, uh, oof. Ow. Blood just gush. But let me stop. Um, yeah, it's just super terrible right now. Like, oh my gosh, love. Y'all. But I've had a lot of good things happen. Like, a lot of good things, even though I feel like crap, y'all. And it's going through all of it. It's super, super sucky, y'all. Super freaking suckage. But, uh, I don't even know if y'all face. I feel like y'all not facing the right direction. I don't even know what I'm doing and stuff like that, y'all. Don't be knowing what I'm doing. Um, I'm tempted to watch this video of this girl. She said she makes shoes. Remember, I used to make shoes, y'all. Well, movie. yes, y'all. Oh, most of the people, the old people are here. She remember, I used to make like house shoes and stuff. That was fun. I made a lot of stuff over the years. That's super cool. I gotta get back to my creative, creative. Yeah, it's still there, y'all. It's still there. But um. Yeah, I was supposed to paint that picture. I still haven't done that yet. I was going to do it today. But now three of us are sick. Baby boy sick, too. <coughs> <coughs> I picked him up early today. He started showing symptoms. So, yeah, that sucks. That super sucks. So, whatever this cootie is. And then, my kids were talking about how people were talking about how some virus was going around. And stuff. everybody has some type of flu. I don't think it's a flu. There's no fevers now. I'm not saying you have to have flu every fever. I thought I'm flu every fever. A fever every flu. It's that, do you have a flu, uh, excuse me, do you have a fever every time you have flu? I don't even know. I've only had the flu like twice in, in my life. Besides coronavirus, I had that twice. But, well, we had that twice. But, yeah. Mm, I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. But, uh, like, I'm not, like, feverish. I just, I, like, I, I ache sometimes. Well, I was aching. I'm not aching now. Um, my head was killing me. Uh, snot, mucus, you know, cough. <clears throat> it's like I didn't come to us, did it? Um, stuff like that, you know, nothing like pain. I think I said that already. And then cramps, but that has nothing to do with that. And it hurts. I could literally feel the blood ripping from my walls. <sighs> it's like just ripping them in there. We got a bunch of baby midgets in there just for uh, the pain. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to gross y'all out too much with my feminine talk. Uh, yeah, I'm mad at my hair. My scalp is literally throbbing, y'all. I did so many different st styles in my mother freaking head that my scalp to the touch hurts. So I can't even do my hair. My daughter is doing my hair in a bomb bomb style. I can't even let her do it until, that's what I say, I'm going to be looking at messages. She just my hair because my scalp hurts because all the braids and stuff. My scalp is super, I'm super sensitive in general. So not only do I have to wash the hair in vinegar and all that, but I also have to let my scalp, you know, it's just crazy biz. But that's just me. Capital C, so the motherfucking Nate. All right, stop it. You know it straight, straight out the motherfucking game. <laughs> <coughs> what you saying? Why you late? <coughs> Matter of fact, right? You better get that straight. It's like, no, chill, girl, chill. We wanted to start our band, and I can't even start our band yet. Remember, I said me and my kids are starting a band. Oh yeah, babies. We ain't even come out with no name, babies, but we doing this. So um, yeah. So uh, I got my vitamin C in here, mixed with a little special juice. I know it's that'll soothe my throat, but let me see if it works. 
but um yeah i guess i'll let you guys you read my fine books go and i will see you if i have something to talk about i want to see i was thinking about uploading this video but i haven't really talked about much because i haven't been feeling so good so yeah but when i find something to talk about beautiful people i will come back and do that you best believe it i hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in my next clip or post all right <laughs>